long time. This is Severe MMA, and here we are at the United Kingdom Fighting Championships with smiling Sam Slater. You know, you're the new lightweight champion here, and that's something. With the, you bring in an Irish guy to a regional show, that's something. But you didn't just beat any regional guy. You beat Martin Chester, who's arguably one of the hottest prospects UK MMA amateur division has. And you made it look easy. T talk us through the fight from your perspective. Um, God, that's, that's put me on the spot. I can't really remember it much, you know. <laughs> but uh, I remember the key points, obviously, when he had me in the rear naked the first round. And, like, anyone who's been in that position knows that what, like, what you think about, like, and thinking, like, just thinking about my teammates and I knew I knew they could have been watching the live stream and family and everything. And you're like, ah, oh, because it was so close. Yeah. And I was like, just just stick it out, and it was it was so close. And but his, I assume his uh, his arm burnt out or whatever. And then I got out, and I was like, I was like, uh, okay, I've I've kind of I've knocked his kind of morale like that to get out of a choke like that. And then I felt fresh coming out of the the coming into the second round, and I could see he wasn't as fresh, especially after the choke. I felt he was definitely not as fresh. He felt weaker in the. Like any movement, he was weaker. He was like less resistance. You, you, you brought up movement. That's something I want to quickly. You know, you're talking about how fresh you felt in the second. You look like you have an economy of movement. It's not that you don't do anything. It just seems that everything you do flows into the into the next thing. Is that just SPG? Is that what they kind of drill into you? Yeah, I suppose so. Yeah, I'm. I, I hope. I hope that I have that. And. Uh, but yeah, it is just, I suppose, the way we train. Like uh, You're very effortless to watch fight. It seems like you, know, you, you don't really have to force anything in there. Yeah, yeah. Maybe that just comes from uh, training, starting off training a pure MMA kind of style. It's like yeah. it has to flow, you know, from one thing into the other. But yeah, I'm, I'm glad that it, I look like that, yeah. You've come, over to, you've come over to the UK. You've taken one of our titles. Are you going to come back to defend this battle? Is this, a, is it, you know, this is the pr promotion's debut. I've just been calling the fights. From, from that perspective, it looked like a pretty, it looked like a pretty good show. What's your, what's your feeling about it being on the inside? Um, yeah, like we arrived and it was like, we were super excited uh, to see the place. It was like obviously a huge venue. Um, I wasn't sure myself whether it, it would be full, but it felt full oh, when it, I was. Yeah, yeah, it was. <laughs> when I was here, and like we we saw the bells, the bells looked really nice and everything, and yeah, just a great promotion. Like we're look, well looked after, you know, everything's paid for obviously, and just being looked after with taxis and stuff. So what, yeah. what what's going what's going to be next for you? Obviously, there's lots of pro, you know, lots of promotions going on from your neck of the woods that I'm sure you'd be involved with. But again, are you going to defend that? We'll see, like, you know, I've got another title to defend, so... It's, uh, it's all right when you can start at collecting. Yeah, yeah, um, I don't know, I've messaged the promoter about a fight in two weeks' time, so we'll see if he hasn't informed me uh, then. And, uh, you know, maybe take a little break and... Yeah. Uh, you know, for, forgive me for asking, well, what's the record now for you? Is it, uh, it's uh, eight and two now. So, so, like Chester, like a lot of the guys from the reps team, you got you, you're not worried about making that fast transition two and two, and then into the pro ranks. No, no. How, how long? How much? Because you're a young lad. I can, I can say that standing next to yeah, you being yeah. 40. But how, how long? How long before you, you do you see yourself making that transition? Um, I don't know. I kind of had a date, a time in my mind, but then. After my last fight, it didn't go as I planned, and I thought after my last fight, okay, I need more amateur fights. But after this fight, I felt really, I felt really good, like, and I felt just happy. I've never felt so content after a fight. Um, but I still want that those those couple more amateur fights against more like top opponents like that. You know, more traveling maybe, yeah, uh, more experience like that. So so collecting more. So yeah, cold. yeah. Or not, you know, just fights, f fights of her fight, like you know. Well, I say I got to tell you, being able to sit watch cage side, I, I've watched Chester from the time he probably was crawling. Yeah, from, yeah. Uh, to, okay. to watch somebody come in and put on such a professional performance with a guy we know is hella tough. It was just a pleasure to watch you work, and I can't yeah. wait to see you do it. Cheers.